Stephen Toger was about to finish night shift and head home to his family. When the paramedic stopped for a quick break at McDonald's, he was killed by a stranger. His new wife Madison was just weeks away from giving birth and tonight she wants us to meet little Lily May. While Stephen's parents are determined to save lives in their son's name. A little ray of sunshine. Some of the darkest days she's just made so much happier. Lily May Stevie Toga. Your dad would be so proud of you. Yeah. She's a bundle of joy. She is. She's brought so much love and happiness into everyone's life and my life especially. And what does she mean to you now? Oh, oh, she's the glue, mate. She's the glue. For Madison Toga, five-week-old Lily May is utter joy in a world of so much grief. I love you. Three-year-old Kobe is Lily May's big brother. You're such a good big brother, you know that? When it first happened, we drove past the ambulances and he was like, maybe that ambulance is taking Steve to heaven. Like, three-year-old shouldn't have to do that. No, a three-year-old shouldn't have to do that. 725, we have a paramedic that has been stabbed multiple times at the McDonald's car park in Campbelltown. Paramedic Stephen Toga was stabbed to death at Campbelltown, southwest of Sydney, in April. When he was set upon by a stranger for no apparent reason. Stephen was just a gentle giant, um, never cranky, just. What you saw, like what you see, is just how he was. It happened a month before Lily May was due. He was really looking forward to being a dad. And that breaks my heart more than anything. <laughs> we were so close. He used to get his stethoscope and listen to a heartbeat. Mm. The moment Stephen knew they were having a daughter, he picked her name. Lily May, because Steve always loved that name, but I was a little bit hesitant on that name. But Steve just loved it the whole pregnancy, and then I just thought I would add Stevie as Stevie the middle name. Stevie as the middle name. So she's got a little part of a dad. Yeah. He knew, he said, I'm, I'm going to have daddy's a girl. It's going to be daddy's said. girl. She's going to be daddy's girl. Oh, <laughs> For Stephen's parents, Jeff and Jill, Lily May has been a massive positive out of something so negative. You both need to ensure that she'll always know who her dad was. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. Right. That's right. We'll make sure of that. She'll know. She'll know. Everybody will know. Yeah. Eight weeks ago, the family somehow found the strength to speak at the celebration of Stephen's life. Today, I vow that our two beautiful children will always know what a selfless, hardworking, kind, compassionate person you were. A day charged with emotion. Hundreds of paramedics turned out in respect for the man who'd always dreamed of becoming an Amber. Four weeks later, Lily May was born. And he would have been looking down. There's no doubt about that, is there? He in was your definitely mind? in that room, definitely. Madison asked Stephen's mum to be there. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. Madison has decided now is the time to tell everyone about Stephen and his little girl. I just feel like now is the right time to, you know, I'm still enjoying my newborn bubble, but um, yeah, I just think the world needed to know that Lily was here and just, 
And the man Stephen was. Yeah, and the man Stephen was. Stephen's senseless death touched the nation. A man just doing his job as a first responder. Stephen was the most passionate, kindest person you could ever meet. Um, the bond that him and myself had was just like no other. Jewel remembers the little boy who always wanted to care for others. Even when he was a boy, if I'd buy him, I'd let him choose a toy at, at the toy shop. It would be a doctor's set, you know, every time when he used to play footy. Yeah. If he tackled someone, he'd want to stop and do first aid on, it, on them and help them up. Nothing was going to stop him becoming a paramedic. He was so passionate about his nursing and, he, and then later on being a paramedic. He was born to be an Ambo, born to be a paramedic. Standing 195 centimetres tall, Stephen Toga was big in stature, but even bigger in heart. He's always, always a carer. He's always cared for people. My boy. Huge soul, huge heart, massive, massive, compassionate human being. Beautiful boy, loved by everyone who knew him. It was a special father-son bond. He was just a beautiful soul. You know, so it's hard to, um, to get the words out properly to describe um, the love we had and the love we still have for him, so. They were mates. My boy will be immortal. His, his name will be immortal and he deserves it. Him and I are going to make a difference. Me and my boy are going to change things. That's, that's the pact that I've, I'm signing up for. He's just such a beautiful person and I guess in this kind of moment we get lots of words that describe him but I just think larger than life is probably a good way to describe him. To his sister Jess, Stephen was her leveller. He was such a big part of my life and, and everyone's life and... Those lives now changed forever. We definitely feel a huge gap without him now and we're all definitely on this journey of what life looks like because it, it is so noticeably different. The family's world of unimaginable pain came on the morning of April 14 while most of us were still asleep. How did you find out? Um, I still remember it. Sorry. I was in the shower, getting ready for work. Kobe was still asleep. <laughs> Just changed everything. <laughs> Maddie and Stephen had only been married seven weeks. Now she wears his wedding ring on a necklace. And Stephen's wedding ring, isn't it? <laughs> Look how big his fingers were. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Their wedding was everything it should be, full of love and happiness. Everybody struggled, I think, to yeah. get it over his head. <laughs> yeah, he was huge. Um, I'm quite tall myself and I looked quite little next yeah, to him. you certainly did. A gentle giant whose only dream was to be a husband, a dad and to wear an Ambo's uniform. He just absolutely loved the job, loved the people he worked with. If he wasn't with family, he just, or friends, he just loved going to work and just, you know, saving people. We never in a million years thought that this would ever happen. We're still, we're, we're still in total shock. But his dad, Jeff, always harboured a sense of concern 
for his son's chosen career. I just was worried about his safety. You know, I was always worried about how society's changed and... Jill's words, which you read at the funeral, about days being cloudy and grey and the nights being dark and long. Do you think you'll ever get past that? It's, it's hard. It's, very, it's been really hard. For, for me, uh, it's going yeah. to take a long, long time. What I thought would happen. The Togas will never forget that day. Oh, that was terrible. We'll never, ever be, be the same after that day. That was a terrible day. Jill answered the early morning phone call. I, I heard in her voice, I heard, I couldn't hear exactly what was said, but I just heard Jill go, oh no, oh no, no, no. I went, I jumped out of bed with her. I said, what's, what's, what's happened? What, what's happened? What's going on? She said, Stephen's been stabbed. And I just... I knew it. My heart... I just knew. My heart just fell. Police and ambulance officers were soon on the doorstep to rush them to hospital. We looked to the mountain here and there was the biggest rainbow you've ever seen. And it was huge. It was just, it started and finished, like which is rare for a rainbow. It was a drive full of dread. And as we got out at the hospital, the police met us and they said, um, uh, your son's deceased. And well, we were just shattered. Stephen died at 7.23 that morning, the exact time the Togas saw the rainbow. Say what you like about that, but there was the rainbow and there it was. And from that point on, every time we see a rainbow, it's the boy, you know. Yeah. This dad believes in justice. I can't control what happens. I can only control how I react to it. And I've got to stay calm and got to stay level-headed for me, boy. The only en enemy is apathy. What do you think needs to be done? Jeff is determined to see change in the form of Stephen's law. He's convinced body-worn cameras, a police and ambulance alert system and stab vests will make paramedics safer. You think the ambos do feel safe now from what you've since well, learned? I don't know, mate. I'm, I, that's the big question. I mean, that's what we want for them. I, and that's the question is, uh, do they want it? Yeah. You know? yeah. And uh, you've got to ask the young'uns who are working in the game now, you know? They're the ones that'll be facing the change in society. I mean, times are different. We're not talking about old days when the general public was well mannered. Yeah. You know, times have changed. People are nasty and the world's a different place. And if we can make their workplace safer through simply issuing these things and, and a set of laws that go with it, then, you know, I can't see an issue why it can't be done. I just can't see why we can't put a package together with the cameras, the vests, the alert system, mm. the laws to cover it and... And at least then there's something in place. Yeah. yeah. It's um, about safety, isn't it? It certainly is, mate. It certainly is. The Toga family likened the impact of Stephen's death to a pebble hitting the still water of a pond. You never know who those ripples touch or, or who, they, who comes into contact with these ripples, but the ripple effect is the only way I can describe it because the, the far-reaching effect that my boys had on this world mm. has been it's amazing, just amazing. And that's how we want, and that's how we want people to, to remember, remember it. Compassion is a big word in this home for a family who should be consumed with anger. And compassion makes a difference in the world, regardless of how small. What would Stephen do? You'd have compassion. And every chance you get to have compassion, you make a difference. Oh, actually, I think I have some the Togas will always yeah, treasure yeah. the memories of their son, <laughs> brother 
husband oh. and father. Keep him in your heart. Yeah. Because it's just the way it's got to be. The world's nasty enough without compassion. I want people to have a smile when they think of Stephen. Yeah. Because he was always happy. Yeah. He was never angry. He was always laughing, joking. Um, and that's how I want people to remember him. If compassion was a person, it'd be called Stephen. Yeah. So. These should have been the happiest of times in this young family's life. For Madison, it goes from happiness to utter despair and then to joy in such a short time. We had a marriage certificate in March. April, I had a death certificate. And then May, I've had a birth certificate. Completely wrong order. Completely wrong order. For now, Madison is focused on the baby bubble she's created and ensuring Lily May and Kobe will forever remember Stephen, the kind and gentle man he was. I often read back on our wedding vows um, and in that he literally says, I've got you from this day forward and I just feel like that's how he, how, you know, like he's got me. And he's still got you, hasn't he? Yep. And the two kids. And the Togas gain strength from the support they're receiving from family, friends, even strangers. We're so grateful and I think that um, Stephen definitely made everyone that came into his life feel welcome and loved and we're feeling that back from the people that he's had an impact on which has been really beautiful. We've been so lucky, we've had a lot of lovely people come into our lives that have sort of given us so much support. The Togas know Stephen lives on in his Lily May. It's just so wild to look down at this little tiny person who just looks so much like him and it's really beautiful to to see. You see him in her? Oh absolutely and even just in the way she already was only a few weeks old carries herself there's just there's Stephen all, all really? over. Yeah yeah. He's it's definitely in his little girl it's just she's very special. She's very special. <laughs> That little baby's the glue that's going to mend so many broken hearts. So she, uh, she'll, she'll hold us together. Lily May, her dad's name as her middle name. That's so special. And look, a beautiful family grieving a man who was committed to saving lives. Well, Stephen will change things. He already is. New South Wales Ambulance is now trialling body-worn cameras. It's working closely with the Togas because they share the same goal, keeping our paramedics safe.